Manchester City are 10 points clear at the top of the Premier League after a 17th straight win away at Everton. I suppose we better talk about them. Here's the former City striker Sean Gota joining me now. Sean, very good morning to you. A 12th successive league win for City. Do they look unstoppable to you? Yes, at this moment in time, you know, all departments are working very well. You know, defensively, they're really solid. Uh, well, I've even missed out the goalkeeper initially. Uh, Addison has is, is not really had a lot of work to do. Defence looks solid. Midfield, again, protective and also creative. And up front, uh, they're getting goals from, from, you know, different areas. Sure, it doesn't seem that long ago when City were 12th and being written off by all, all quarters. Is it all about their squad? Is that, is that why they're doing so well? Yep, you've hit the nail. You've hit, you've hit the uh, nail on the head there. It is about the squad. Uh, Pep understands that in order to not only do well in the league and to challenge for other trophies, it has to be rotation. And, and every player, it, for, for me, it amazes me how a player will come in uh, and then perform. You know, a solid performance, put in an eight, nine performance, and you think, well, he hasn't played for the last two games, uh, and then play two games and then be out again and come back in. It's been absolutely brilliant, the standard that these players have set. And a lot of the credit really has to go on to Pep Guardiola and how he's really managed the players and rotated them to, to, to get this, this brilliant tune that they're playing. Yeah, if City win, it'll be a third Premier League title in four seasons. Um, considering how difficult this season is with playing every three days and with COVID and all of that, will this be one of Pep's greatest achievements? I think so, because I think if we look back to perhaps, uh, was it November, I think City were, were seven points adrift of Liverpool. And I think Liverpool had a game where I think if they won that, they could have won 10 points. And you, you roll forward now to City being 10, 10 points ahead of second place United. Uh, it's absolutely tremendous. And, and you know, this, this man on the screen, the standards he sets and... You know, he, he often gives you a boring answer when he's interviewed, but he really is about the next game and, and how the team can perform exceptionally well in that game and, and, and get the three points. Sean, City still in four competitions. Could they do the quadruple? Well, you know, <laughs> I like how you're baiting me up with this. It's almost <laughs> an easy answer to say, to almost say what, what, why not? I mean, at, at, this, mo at this moment, the form, um, I can... Pep looks at each game and looks for the weakness in how the team can exploit. He's pulling a tune out of, out of you know, so many players. Gundogan, obviously, now, now injured, but he's been in exceptional full form. Phil Foden. Um, Zichenko comes in, does well. You know, Cancelo, uh, this guy, for me, can play midfield. He's just brilliant to, to watch and how he operates. Why not? Why couldn't they, they uh, perform the quadruple? I, I, I think they can. Uh, you know, some people will look back and say, come on, Sean, calm down. But they really are in this, this sort of form right now. I won't be saying that, Sean. Um, Kevin De Bruyne <laughs> is back as well. Sergio Aguero on his way back. How worried should uh, opposition teams be? Well, I'll, I'll be extremely worried because, again, you know, De Bruyne came on last night, uh, what, 15 minutes or so. Um, and again, looks as though he's not been out. I, I find it amazing because, you know, if I was out, uh, when I think of myself, I needed a, a game or two to get back into my rhythm. These guys come back in and, and it's as though they've never been out. Sergio Aguero, I mean, you know, everyone at City is really looking forward. And even neutral fans because Sergio Aguero is a goal scorer. And we know that Sergio doesn't need two and three chances. You give him one good chance and it's a go. Uh, so, again, this, this quality coming back into the field um, is just an exciting time for City. But could there be a spanner in the works this weekend? Because they're playing Arsenal and they're playing Mikel Arteta, who knows Pep better than Pep knows himself. Yes, you're very right. And, and for me, I always said that this, this, this month is a huge month because... The games were, they came thick and fast and they were quality teams. Arsenal, again, Arteta will know the way in how Pep operates and how he thinks. Uh, and I, I think Pep will, will go away. We, we've been thinking about this game and thinking, you know, where can they, they find some weaknesses in Arsenal um, to, to exploit them? Uh, perhaps a different way than, than Arteta will be expecting. But Pep is the one that can do this. He's, he, he's just a genius in my eyes.
Sean, always good to speak to you. Sadly, we've run out of time. Otherwise, I'd get you to sing Blue Moon for us, but we've got to move on. Lovely to see you. Blue Moon. There he goes. <laughs> <laughs>